So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to find sound effects for your podcast. So the easiest way to do that is to go on freesound.org. So this is a great um, website for finding particular effects. So we're going to search for an intro clip that we can use. And you can just preview some of them to see whether they're any good. So that one's not bad, so we might just open that up in a new tab. So you just need to make sure that you're logged in in order to download the sound. So I've already logged in to this machine. So when you're ready to download the effect, just click the download button and it will ask you where you want to save it. So I've just saved my project on the desktop and it's best to save the effects in the sound effects folder. And the other thing that you want to make sure of is to check the Creative Commons license for the effect. So I can open that up in a new tab. And what this one is saying is that um, you can use the clip. However, it cannot be used for commercial works. So in order to find out whether your work is commercial, just ask yourself, am I making money from this? And you'll also need to remember to attribute the work to the artist. So we have some information on our blog about copyright and attribution. So if you just visit dsctal.space forward slash video, we have resources on how to record, how to edit video, but also how to source images, music and video. So just have a look at the copyright and Creative Commons information and information about how to attribute other people's work in your own. So most of these effects that are on Freesound you will need to attribute. So the easiest way to attribute works would be to have a list of the sound effects that you used in the podcast on the page where you're hosting the audio file. So if you upload your podcast to SoundCloud, you would make sure that all of the sound effects that you used in that project would be attributed on the information page. So if you'd like to use music in your project, I suggest going onto our blog and looking at this table that we have, you can sort by looking for sites that have images, music or video. So if you just click on music, it will sort all of the sites that have music that you can use in your project. For finding music, I suggest free music archive as well as hook sounds. So you can find some good music on those sites. Um, free music archive, you might just have to search a bit to find good music. You can look at the highlights that they have posted in the blog and just have a play, see if you like any of them. And sometimes it's a bit of hit and miss. You can also search by genre. So if you're after electronic music, for example, then it will sort all of the electronic files into one and you can sort of look at any of these sub genres to find something. Um, Hook Sounds as well can be used. It's quite a good site. It does require you to log on in order to download, whereas Free Music Archive, you don't necessarily need to be logged on to download. Hook Sounds also has paid content, so just beware. So you can just look through, have a play, see if you like anything. <laughs> One way to narrow down your search is to just look at the genres that they have for each clip. Um, so this one says motivational, we can just have a quick look. It's a little bit too motivational. Let's try electronic. Okay, that's definitely too much. Okay, yeah. Um, so as you can see, it's a very hard to find some useful stuff. So you might want to 
sort of use one of these categories to narrow down the search. So I'm just going to click on logo and see what comes up. Mm. Yeah. So that might be a nice intro to your podcast. So you could just add that to the list that you want to download. Um, and now let's search by electronic, see if we can find anything. Nope. So you really need to know the kind of theme of your podcast to know whether it would work. So this is kind of nice and quiet, so let's try this one. And then you want to check the use and mention box. So that means that you don't need to pay, but what happens is you'll need to make sure that you credit the artist, which in this case, because we found it on Hook Sounds, we'll just have to credit Hook Sounds and the name of the file. So we just click download and that'll take us to a checkout. And if we want this one too, we'll just click the same thing, use and mention and download. And we'll just wait until it checks us out. And then all you need to do is enter in your details. And you can mention where the music will be used. So if you know where your podcast is going to be hosted, then you would just add that here. And then just click free download and that will send you an email with the music files and then all you need to do is download them. And Free Music Archive is a lot easier. So if you want to download music using Free Music Archive, all you need to do is press this downwards arrow and that will automatically download the music. And you could, if you wanted to, add all of your music into a music folder so that you can differentiate between your music and your sound effects. Doesn't matter if you all put them in the same folder, that doesn't matter one bit.